the tax code that made him the, put him in a position that he pays less tax than a school teacher makes and the, uh, on the money a school teacher makes is because of him take he says he's smart because he can take advantage of the tax code and he does take advantage of the tax code that's why i'm going to eliminate the trump tax cuts and well, we're going to i'm going to eliminate those tax okay. cuts and make sure that we invest in the people who in fact need the help people out there need help but why didn't I you do it over 20, uh, the no, last no, no, 25 wait, no, years no, because you were president you because you weren't president years. screwing no, no, things no, no. up you were a senator. And You're the, the worst way, president vice... America has ever had. Hey, hey Come Joe, on. Let, me, let me just tell you, Joe, I've done more in, in 47 months. I've done more than you've done in 47 years, Joe. We've done things that you never even thought of doing, okay. including Gentlemen, fixing the broken military that you gave me, let's, including let's, taking care we're of your talking, Mr. President, we're talking about the economy. I'd like to ask you about your plans going forward, because, uh, Mr. Vice President, your economic plan if you were to be he elected president, uh, focuses a lot on big government, big taxes, big spending. I want to focus first on the taxes. You propose more than $4 trillion over a decade in new taxes on individuals making more than $400,000 a year and on corporations. President Trump says that that kind of an increase in taxes is going to hurt the economy as it's just coming out of a recession. Well, just take a look at what as the, the analysis has been done by Wall Street firms. Points out that my, my economic plan would create 7 million more jobs than his in four years, number one. And number two, it would create an additional $1 trillion in economic growth because it would be about buying American that we have to, we're going to make, the federal government spend $600 billion a year on everything from ships to steel to buildings and the like. And under my proposal, we're going to make sure that every penny of that has to be made by a company But, but respectfully, sir, I'm talking about taxes, not spending. Oh, well, uh, by the way, I'm going to eliminate a significant number of the tax. I'm going to make the... the the corporate tax, 28 percent. It shouldn't be 21 percent. You have 19 company, 91 companies, federal, I mean, in the Fortune 500, who don't pay a single penny in tax, making billions of dollars. Why didn't you do it billions before of when you were vice president because, with Obama? Because you, in fact, passed that. That That's was right. your I tax it, proposal. I got it done. And you know what happened? Yeah, you got it done. Our economy boomed and like the, it's and never and boomed The economy well, is Mr. busted. President, let, let me wait, finish. No, let me, Mr. President, let me pick up on that. You would continue your free market approach, lower taxes, more deregulation, correct? Not lower taxes for American people. But, but, but let me, Excuse me. But in, but in Obama's, you talk about the economy booming, it turns out that in Obama's final three years as president, more jobs were created, a million and a half more jobs than in the first three years of your presidency. They had the slowest recovery since, 19, <sighs> economic recovery since 1929. It was the slowest recovery. Also, they took over something that was down here. All you had to do is turn on the lights and you pick up a lot. But they had the well, slowest had economic recovery since 1929. Let me tell you about the stock market. When the stock market goes up, that means jobs. It also means 401ks. If you got in, if you ever became president with your ideas, you want to terminate my tax, my taxes, I, I'll tell you what, you'll lose half of the companies that have poured in here will leave, and plenty Half of companies, companies that are already here, they'll leave for other places. Have they will leave, and you will have a depression the likes I mean, of which you've never seen. Look, Mr. we Vice inherited it. the worst recession short of a depression in American history. I was asked to bring it back. We were able to have an economic recovery that created the jobs you're talking about. We handed him a booming economy. He blew it. It wasn't he booming. Blew it. He blew it. Wasn't it wasn't booming. It was, uh, it was the weakest the, recovery well, sir, is since to, Wait, wait. Is it, fair to, is it fair to say he blew it when, in when fact, it was re came. when there was record un low unemployment yeah. before COVID? Yeah, but, but because what he did, even before COVID, manufacturing went in the hole. Manufacturing went in the hole. Excuse number me, one. Chris. Wait. Number two. Chris. Number three. They said they, it would they, take. They, no, you were number two. No. Chris, Chris. They said it would this take a miracle sorry. to bring back manufacturing. I brought back 700,000 jobs. They brought back nothing. They gave up on manufacturing. We Part did of not my forget. standard fare. I'm the guy that he brought totally back gave the automobile up on manufacturing. industry. All right, let him we brought back, I was asked to bring back Chrysler and General Motors. We brought them back right here in the state of Ohio and Michigan. He blew it. They're gone. He blew it. 
And in fact, they're going Ohio after had them. the best year yeah. it's ever had last year. Michigan yeah. had the best year they've ever had. That is not Many true. Many car companies no, came no, in from Germany, from Japan, not, went to Michigan, no, went to Ohio. They're not having And they didn't Vice, come wait, in wait, with wait, you. Mr. Vice President, go ahead. 